Hello everyone, this is Stunter Collector here with another action figure review and here I have the Marvel Legends series Venom Pool Wave Carnage with the spiral in his head. Um, and this one I think looks real cool. Um, but here's the front Freya, here's the side art Freya, here's the back if you guys want to pause and read this you can and then here's all the figures that are in the wave. The other side Freya, same artwork. Here's the Venom logo furnished on top, and then here's the bottom with the DCBI. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here's Carnage out of the packaging for you. So let's go over his accessories, but first he comes with Venom Pool's head. We'll go over that once we're done with the figures here. And then he comes with another Carnage head here. We've seen this head, well, it's a different head sculpt actually here, because these, these little black squigglies here are actually sculpted. So these are pretty cool. Um, I'll put him on with this in a little bit, but I'm gonna have him mainly with this one on because I have the other Carnage figures, which I, other Carnage figure from the Monster Venom Wave. I'll do a comparison with them later. Um, but besides that, that's how he's got for accessories. But here he is. Um, so all throughout the figure, it feels really well made because all of these little black squigglies are all sculpted in. I, I like it makes it really hard to see if you're miss if they're missing any paint apps or anything like that or missing off just by a little bit, but it's pretty hard to tell. And they even did it with the hands too, which I like. This is a really well made figure of Carnage. Um, so here you have the head sculpted with the spiral from I think the Absolute Carnage. Uh, storyline and then like I said it's all he's all red and you get all of these really cool like sculpted in black squigglies going through him like even the hands oh my goodness they did really good with this one I I think this might be I don't know it's either between the movie Venom or this one for my favorite symbiote figure I would say um, but one more thing actually for accessories, he does have this, which is his own piece. And they actually did something different instead of having it just like one big, like skinny black line, I guess they made it into this. And what's really cool about this, this one's also textured in, but when you take it off, it doesn't mess up the look or anything like that for this guy, because that's maybe the hole, but still like usually sometimes people that do this, they'll have that little part that this covers just plain red or something like that but instead they did that so it doesn't mess up the figure which i like a lot so that's this one's really cool i like it a lot and then coming out of the back here you get these like little red things coming out of his back like little tentacles i think that these are sculpted in too so i think they could have added a little bit of black but it's not gonna bother me too much actually because of all the other stuff right here going on is going to kind of like attract that attention more to this than this. So, and you also get more of these. I don't think the other Carnage, no, it did, I think. Um, it has these little tentacles coming out of his arms here. Same, and then his other one. So that's cool. And then you get more on his legs too. So that's really cool. Yeah, they did a really good job on on this sculpting, painting, everything for this guy. And then I'll do I'll show you what the regular Carnage head sculpt looks like with it on. I can't get it on fully, but I'm not gonna have him with this on most of the time. But let's see if I can get on all the way. There we go. There we go. Got him on. So yeah, looks really good. But still gonna use this one more. And I think, like, I, oh yeah, one more thing about the skull. Like, you get this little faded faded black wash going on here, which I think it looks cool. And then the mouth looks cool. It gives it a skull-looking look to the head sculpt here, which I think is what they went for for the comic books, too. So it gives it that accuracy, too. But besides that, let's go over his articulation so you can look down that much but you get a little gapage in between there you can kind of see it there but it's not going to bother me too much i think the jaw is its own piece but i'm a little afraid to like mess with it because i don't want to break that's the only problem that i have but i mean they went for a skull look so yeah i kind of 
be aware of that one. Uh, look up extremely far. That's awesome. He can look left and right. Head pivoting just a little bit, a little bit there and there. Um, and his shoulders can go out pretty much 90 degrees. Uh, he has a shoulder, he can do 360 rotation around his shoulder. You just gotta maneuver around these or you don't have to if you take these off. He does have a butterfly joint, which I don't think the other one does. So you can either go back just a little bit like that, forward just a little bit. Um, he does have a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Uh, his wrists can hinge down that far, up that far, and then 360 rotation around there. He has an ab crunch, so he can go forward, actually really far. That's awesome. And backwards quite a bit, but I mean, it's not bad. Uh, and then he has a bicep, I mean, hip swivel, so you can get him to go around like that, 360. He could kick out decently far. One more thing, actually, about the detail. I don't think any other Carnage figures had these toes, too. <laughs> But they're like nails, claws, I guess you could say. So that's cool. Um, yeah, besides that, sorry I went off there. But uh, like I said, he kicked out that far. He could kick forward quite a bit. Backwards, not a whole lot, but it's not bad. Uh, he has a thigh cut there. He has double jointed knees. And he does have a shin cut here. And then his ankles can hinge down that far up that far and a uh, nice ankle pivot and then here's the absolute carnage next to the carnage that we got with the monster venom wave so like i said you could definitely tell the difference between them and this one looks d way better because the sculpted red swirls going through them uh i think what you can do if you want to use these i think you should be able to switch them we'll see here in a second uh, ah, <laughs> if i can I don't want to break it. <laughs> oh, this. Uh oh, we got a little cot here. Uh, uh, come on. There we go. There we go. Okay. I end up drop it, but I'm going to take this off anyways. There we go. Got it. Where did it go? Right there. Oh. Ooh. All right. Now let's see if we can pop this bad boy in. I think you should be able to. Yep. You can pop it in and use that. So. That's actually cool. And if you want to like do your own customization, you can paint this up a little bit to make it fit a little better with this carnage, but I'm still gonna keep this with my other carnage. Um, and then we'll compare the head sculpts here with this one. So that way you see if you guys like that one more, I'm pretty sure you will. Uh, let me pop this hand back in there. There we go. And then here's the two different head sculpts next to each other. So they look pretty close, but I think this one beats it because of the texture going on there. Yeah, it's completely different head sculpts for you. I like this one more, to be honest. And But this one has its... It, this one's more comic accurate. This one's more modern look. So, uh, yes. But they did an absolutely amazing job with this carnage. I love it. So I really hope they do more like that, especially with like these figures. I, I Now seeing this from carnage, I hope they do that with the other symbiotes with all of this like little swiggly stuff going on there. So hopefully they'll end up doing it with the other ones like that. Um, but besides that, he has awesome articulation. The paint apps and accessories are good and amazing for the texture and paint apps. But besides that, that's all I've got. Hellcat.